man we have slow match we have quick match you know and when we want to do slow match you think we are we are being uh, there's what we call slow motion in recording you know you put your leg and you'll be shaking it like this with your hand is straight and you put it down that's slow match but when it is quick match you see that we are moving very fast at a fast pace i pray for you in the name of jesus that when it comes to progress may you move fast in the name of jesus now you you may not understand if i don't give you illustration two men two young brothers got admission one got an admission into a very into a private school the parents could afford it another one got admission into a federal university and they were both happy in fact people said the one that gained admission into the federal university we have more opportunities they are ah, federal university of uh of Unsuka, you will have access to opportunities so they started 100 level together the one in the private school and the one in the in the federal school but within one year that 100 level when it started the government had issue with asu and there was a strike the strike lasted for six months now the one in the private university doesn't know anything called strike by the time he got to 200 level second semester the friend that was in 100 level was to resume 100 level to conclude the six months of strike now which means he was to conclude he was so he came in now for the second semester but his friend was already in the second semester of 200 level now they went on again the journey went on like just like that again the government could not meet up to their agreement with asu then they decided we are going to strike again they strike for another one year now that one year the friend was at home the other one was still in the private university he got to his 300 level and everybody was wondering wow but these people started the race together now that's the difference in between a man that has speed and a man whose journey is slow i pray for you listening to me may the journey of your life not be slow in the name of jesus you know what it means for a man's journey to be slow he's vibrating but he's not moving at a very fast pace he's vibrating but he's not moving at his at a fast uh, pace he's working hard but things are not working in his life just like what happened in the life of peter he said master we have toiled all night but one day that the unction of speed came upon him he toiled all night what did he catch he caught nothing all night toiling brought nothing to his life but when he met jesus and jesus said cast your net the bible said, he said jesus said cast your nets he allowed the experience of an all night you know unproductive labor life to limit him so he casted a net and as he threw it into the sea the bible says he tried to pull he couldn't pull ah what is this he had to beckon on people which means he instantly became an employer of labor instantly under one encounter he started to pull the bible says when they were pulling the net the fishes in the net were being drawn into the boat what happened the boat began to sink that is speed there's an anointing for it and that's what i've come to deliver today beloved we all need speed we all need to move fast because you know why we need to move fast because our time on earth is short by the grace of god i'm 40 she's the one that knows my age 40 what 48 because i discovered that one recent when my dad passed out i saw my birth certificate now i'll be 14. it didn't look like i was 14. it was like yesterday they gave back to me but just like play like play this morning i was praying in my time with god and i was rehearsing my 50th birthday before you know it time will just come like that that's why you need speed there are certain things you need to do and forget you have done imagine a man laying the foundation of his first house at the age of 89 that is a barrier site not a house buying his first car at the age of 90 and gather people to come and celebrate that's an ambulance because that's what they will use to carry him at 90 he no longer has taste for player am i communicating that's why i pray for somebody 
listening to me if it's a curse that is limiting your life i declare that the, that curse loses its hold on you in the name of jesus if it's a covenant i declare that by the power of the superior covenant the blood of jesus that covenant is destroyed in the name of jesus you need speed i was coming because because i wanted to come early i took uh uh we call it kekena pair and in the thing they were playing this song inka alashiori song and do you know that the spirit of god started to minister to me this lady's speed to the realm of fame is just like magic people that have been singing for 20 years some of them they haven't known them but if in kala she only should cough her cough is a song she doesn't compose but she picks people's song add salt pepper and sugar to it and you that you are the owner of the song will begin to wonder are you sure that's my song Sorry, me the speed there is an anointing for it and that's what i have come they told me today is father's blessing that's what i've come to do there is an anointing for it are we said media uh, let's carry on there's an anointing for it we've had the teaching aspect of the blessing of a uh, of, of speed but let me tell you the anointed aspect of it the anointing aspect of it let's go to the book of genesis sagada baskende nebos lingada barabas basata yangada baske I wanted to sing, but I just remember that the man on this hand is not a keyboardist. If his hand should move out of where it is, there will be a problem. He will just miss it. So let me not sing. <laughs> Genesis 28. Oh, let's start from 27. I will jump verses. I'll be jumping verses. I will take verse 1 and verse 2. Then I will jump to verse 24. Then I'll start taking it on. Verse 1 and 2. And it came to pass that when Isaac was old, pay attention, and his eyes were dim so that he could not see, he called Esau his eldest son and said unto him my son and he said unto him behold here yeah, i am uh, am i verse 2 and he said behold now i am old i know not the day of my death now therefore think i pray thee thy weapon thy quiver and thy bow and go out to the field and take me some venison listen verse 4 and make me savour meat such as i love and bring it to me that i may eat and that my soul hmm, very important may bless thee before i die now who was speaking here jacob was the one speaking who was he speaking to he was speaking to his or his son he said my son look at me i'm growing i'm getting old i will soon die but there is something i have to release i want to ask you church i want to ask you church who blesses you who is speaking to your life i always tell people it is dangerous to run the journey of life not having anyone speaking over your life you know why people that are speaking against your life there are plenty The only thing is that they won't announce it. If they announce it, you will curse them. People that are in the in the shrines, mentioning your name, putting your pictures down, and speaking against you. Oh my God! What more budget? 
won o kan kin kede eni o ti poju because some so we we are in a generation that don't have respect for fathers the generation that we are in now what do you have that i don't have you have the holy ghost i have the holy ghost you were washed by the blood i was washed by the blood you obtain mercy i obtain mercy ah esa oju e lo the mysteries to this life can you just imagine can i tell you this story jacob stood up i'm still coming back home, and look at his first son ruben and say ruben ex excellency of wisdom and excellency of power he said with ruben you shall no longer excel in your bar oh don't tie your man and i know if ruben is like some people here like, hey, 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 hello to we see a lot of like the song we used to sing, you know, that's what we say. But beloved, from that day, we didn't hear anything about Ruben. Ruben didn't excel. He lost his position as firstborn to Joseph. So Esau is saying here, he said to Jacob, Jacob, I mean to, to uh, sorry, Jacob was saying, and we are myself, Isaac was saying to Esau, I want to bless you. There is something in my mouth that I must give you before I die. Some of you don't know that the blessing is a currency on its own. Cherry ibuku, ton da le yon dori bi ba se na wo, yan ma na ibuku, yan ma o to na. You know why? That's why you see some people are excelling. You can't explain why. There, are, there is a blessing that is upon their life. You know, I was asking the question, who is blessing you? I don't have anybody. I don't care about any fucking body, as Americans we say. I just want to live my life. Now, do you now also ask why Esau now said to Jacob, uh, Hey, Isaac said to Esau, Go and get me a good savour. Go and prepare something for me. He didn't say that my mouth may bless you. That's what we call mouth blessing, and that's what we call soul blessing. Let me tell you a story, true life story. One of my pastor friends went to the mountain to pray, and where he was in the corner praying, Lori okay, Usha and he noticed that some people gathered together they put they put on a candle on the rock and they were shouting the name of a man of god and what they were saying is you know she alone like that pastor like that you're like that you but she can't be a lawyer okay you know you know bella in joe tia bella and lolly but she can't be a do i you know share and share the kuma lolly oh yeah we won't have a thing about oh yeah my god let's be praying let's be praying they were praying against the man that as the candle is burning and the candle is reducing, that the ministry of the man be reducing. I know somebody will say, girl, we're not here. Did they tell you that they are praying to God? No, wait, did, you did they tell you they are praying to God? They are conjuring spirits. And the man of God said, where he was, God said to him, stop them or else something will happen to that man. He said so. He just entered their midst. Stop that! And all of them scattered. Who is blessing you? If you don't care about the blessing, think about the people cursing you. People wishing you well. Uh, wishing you evil. People that are bewitching. Say they wish that something should happen. They wish that something should happen. Because that picture you sent on Facebook that you think uh, you are happy, you sent it now. There's nothing bad about it. Somebody said, Kilon She. Kilon She. Who is blessing you? So the father now said, is, uh, uh, Isaac said, I want to eat from you so that what? My soul. Now, which means that, look up. The people that your blessing is in their mouth need to eat from you before their soul can bless you. One of the fathers I have in ministry, his, his kidneys failed. He 
was at his dying moment i was in my dream and god i saw this dream where i was instructed this man is going he said something against you many years ago it's affecting you go and see him now so i wrote a check i went to him as he saw me pastor prince will i said yes sir what happened i said i got a dream and god said i should come and see you and we got talking all of a sudden he just changed and started to tell me some things that god told me where nobody was then and told me that i need to pray for him not for healing i said sir for what he said because god said that the calling you have you are greater than me i said no sir i didn't come to pray for you i came for you to bless me sir i have this gift for you he looked at the check he said i should give it to his wife and he started he was just blowing the thing blowing the thing you know one thing that the stingy will never enjoy the stingy will never enjoy the blessing that comes from the soul that's why look at that scripture that says one man scattered it and he enters abundance another one withhold if I beyond mayor and goes into scarcity in the law of commerce who should go into scarcity no no, no let's be sincere is he not the one that scattered it but it's a mystery and it don't fucker shiny according to law of commerce and it don't code your tongue kopama lu ye ni okpo but la de ofiti ibukun kuribe My mentor announced to us and told us pastor adibu is coming to, to their church i've never met him one-on-one -on -one. he said you have a gift you know what i purposely wrote a check so that pastor adibu's name can appear in my account my mentor said gather the, the your seed i want to go and give him we were looking at pastor adibu like this so we gathered the seed he didn't bother me that I didn't touch it, that I didn't touch him, that I didn't collect it from my hand directly. Three days after, so I saw debit alert. Enoch, Adejari, Adeboe. Ah! I jump up. I started screaming. I will never go down. I will never go down. I will never go down. But Adeboe's name has entered my account. When you notice people that you know that the, the, there is a blessing in their mouths for you sir ma open your paws so that it will not just come from the mouth it will come from who their soul see i hear i didn't hear you let's continue that's why I'm, I'm praying for the men. Everyone that is a man here, put your right hand on your head. Because I know plenty of them didn't come. And when I asked why, they said they made pledges. Tell them that their pledges have been written off. Let them come to church. I bless you men. May you be connected to the source of blessing that is from God. That no economy will be able to hinder you from prospering in the name of Jesus. What you are now? Now listen. Let's read a bit, little bit further. And Rebecca, verse five, had when Isaac spoke to Esau, his son, and Esau went to the field to hunt for venison and to bring it back. Where am I? That's it. Escape. And Rebekah spake unto Jacob, her son, saying, Behold, 
I heard thy father speak unto his or thy brother, saying, Bring me venison and make me savo meal that I may eat and bless thee before the Lord before my death. Now, therefore, my son, obey my voice according to that which I command thee. Go now to the flock, fetch me from thence two kid of goats, and I will make them savour meat for thy father, such as he what you didn't see, such as he what he loveth. Ah, who can cook like a man's wife for the man? You know what I saw here? A man's blessing can be stolen. The blessing that is meant for A can be stolen by B. Now, which means if children of God don't do what they are supposed to do to their fathers, unbelievers can do it and get the reward. I communicate. The day I had, it was in a secret meeting, hear me, of fathers that the person that supplies the cow that they eat in the congress of the redeemed Christian church of God is Dangote not even a Christian those people know what they are doing I was listening to my maestra Jai she was having an anniversary he said Sherry Omo me told those me. Who is he? MC Olu Omo. Did you hear it? Malu Melo. Malu Melo. Bagiresi party. Look what I just doing. I was now listening to what you are in there. Hear me. What you are in there said. Ah, he said it online. MC Oluomo tried to shoot somewhere and our present president had it that time. He said wherever he is, they should get him and cut off his hand. What you now said, they said the only person that can talk to our present president that is close to him very well is Wasu Ainde. MC ran to him. They took him to Asura. He prostrate. And the president said, Your sins are forgiven. Something is wrong for, for him. Who is blessing you? Esau had gone to the forest, but they were cooking something. It is whoever gets the venison across let's see whether it worked like that fast 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 are you there look at the question of jacob verse 12 my father peradventure will fill me and i shall seem to be a deceiver and i shall be i shall bring a curse upon me and not a blessing and his mother sent unto him upon me be the curse my son only obey my voice and go fetch with me now let's jump 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 and jump to verse 19 and jacob said unto his father i am i am Esau, thy firstborn i have done according to us as uh, where am i as thou be dead arise i pray thee sit and eat of my venison that thy soul May bless you. You know, he kept coming that thy soul. Verse 20. And Isaac said unto his son, How is it that thou hast found it so quickly, my son? And he said, Because the Lord thy God brought it to me. And Isaac said unto Jacob, Come near. I pray thee that I may feel thee, my son, whether thou be my very son or not. And Jacob went near unto Isaac, his father. And he felt him and said, the voice of Jacob sorry the voice is Jacob's voice but the hands are the hands of Esau and he discerned him not because he his hands were hairy and his brother Esau's hands 
so he blessed him listen and he said look at the content of the blessing Art thou my very son he saw and he said i am and he said bring it near to me and i will eat of my son's venison that my soul may bless thee and he brought it near to him and he did eat and brought him wine and he drank and his father's isaac said unto him come near and and kiss me my son and he came near and kissed him and he smelled the smell of his remnant and blessed him and said see the smell of my son is as the smell of the field which the lord has blessed now look up what was the first thing he gave him he gave him favor that anybody that pass perceive you will see you as a field blessed by god which means anywhere you enter you'll be celebrated did it happen yes now there's no time i'll be showing you i'll have been showing you school. when jacob traveled to liban's house have you forgotten as he entered the house what happened they embraced him oh jacob oh jacob oh jacob oh jacob and if liban said okay what will you do work for me he said give me your first daughter and um, give me your second daughter he, no no problem you will marry her you need the blessing who need the God who is blessing you people are not just going around looking for who to bless it is you that we provoke it that's why when I see people that carry the blessing I organize a seed compel her to me I go and drop I don't do the one that some of you do you just, don't let them know that I do. let them know so that you can receive the blessing I declare over everyone listening to me today may your smell be like the smell of the field that the Lord God Almighty has blessed in the name of Jesus favor will open door for you i didn't hear your amen look at verse 28 therefore god give thee of the dew of heaven and what and the fatness of the earth and what and plenty of corn and wine that's abundance that god will give you every out of every good thing of life that's why i see look up church i want to tell you this don't join those online that criticize fathers are fathers perfect no now after all noah was drunk when the son saw him naked was it his son that pulled off his dress for him no now but the only thing the boy did was that he was laughing <laughs> my father is naked he went to tell his two brothers my father is naked come and see my father's thing and when the father came back to his senses he cursed him he said servants of servants shall you be and it happened like that don't join them to curse any father even if they are in error don't curse them you just go for the blessing see here 29 he said let people serve thee say amen to that big amen say people will serve me shout it like you understand it he said and nations bow down to thee amen be lord over thy brethren amen and let thy mother's sons bow to, down to thee amen can you see that by the blessing he made Jacob greater than Esau? Because of time, I want to close. I will show you something. Jump. Let's jump to verse 33. And Isaac trembled very exceedingly and said, Who? Where is he that has taken venison and brought it me? And I have eaten and of 
of all before thou of all before thou camest and I blessed him yea and he shall be blessed though even when he, he stole it hmm. 34 and when he saw heard the word of his father he cried with a with a great and exceeding bitter cry and said unto his father bless me even me also oh my father and he said thy brother came subtly and had taken away the blessing thy blessing and he said is not he rightly named Jacob for he had supplanted me two times he took away my birthright and behold now he had taken away my blessing and he said as thou not reserved a blessing for me one more verse and I'll stop and Isaac answered and said unto Esau behold I have made him thy Lord somebody will say is he God you know what that's what somebody will say is he God he said I have made him thy Lord but the power of the blessing I put upon him you will serve him hey and beloved it happened like that who is blessing you God's power I've once told you before if you still have biological parents put them on salary the Bible says honor your father and your mother that your days may be long and that it may be well with you it is your parents that guarantees how, lo how long you live and how high you prosper and how will they guarantee is your level of honor towards them is what will determine that if you still have biological parents let's start from there every single month put them on something and as you are going to deliver to them kneel down let them speak to your life two if you have spiritual parents don't joke with your spiritual parents too is there in the book of Ephesians bless them regularly and when you bless them let them speak to your life you see all these blessings and prophecies will be silencing the ones they are speaking against you at the shrines are you hearing me in yellow mama taco because you are so you are too connected not to be blessed it's just like somebody is taking my name now he's just wasting his time my spiritual parents they are there or if somebody is taking my children's name somewhere he's just wasting their time I always tell them don't worry don't cause trouble but if anybody trouble you let me know who is blessing you that's why I go and adjust today. Are you hearing me? I'll be anointing all the men after the service because of time. You come to the altar after the service, I will anoint you. So please maintain, hear me, maintain a frequent, a constant relationship with those blessing your life. Let's welcome the Kingsmen present. I'm done.